hello guys and welcome to today's video today's gonna be another vlog um we actually had planned to go to this like huge pumpkin patch pumpkin farm thing where they had different games to play animals to feed lots of different things but this past weekend sunday or saturday was way too hot you know if i'm gonna go to a pumpkin patch or a pumpkin farm i wanted to feel folly outside and it was 96 degrees on saturday so we skipped that day and then we're like we'll, we'll just go sunday well, Sunday had other plans for us. It was rainy off and on all day and they actually shut the farm down. So we didn't get to go on Sunday either. Um, luckily the passes are good like throughout the whole fall season. Um, I feel like I have something tickling my nose. Um, so we didn't waste money. We can still go. Justin is on call this weekend, however. So it'll have to be the next weekend that we go. So we're still going to go to that. It'll still be fun. But unfortunately we didn't make it. Um, this past weekend. So I was like, I better start a video for you guys. So I thought I'd show you guys. Um, we did go to some garage sales. I didn't film them. I don't know. I like watching garage sale videos, but I feel like people, especially with this huge camera, if I was to go garage selling with this, would be like, why are you filming this? Like, that's such a weird thing to film. But I've been obsessed with, um, his name is Froggy Flips uh, on YouTube. He goes to garage sales and he like resells stuff and he's like just a really, seems like a really cool person. Uh, and I've been really enjoying his videos lately. I've watched so many of them in the past few weeks. It's probably not a good thing, but I've enjoyed watching them and you guys should check them out. It's, it's kind of like a vlog style video, but it's like, he just goes around to garage sales, show you what he's looking at. He'll grab some stuff and then he'll tell you um, what like the resale value is and why he bought it and different things like that. It's really interesting. Anyways, we went garage selling and we went to a bigger city to go because the garage sales here suck. We live in a smaller kind of area, so they're not as interesting, but, um, we did find some cool stuff in the bigger city and we figured, or I figured I would show you guys what we got. So of course we can't go to a garage sale without looking for golf clubs, right? If you guys have been watching, you know, Justin's obsessed with finding golf clubs lately because he loves to golf and he's been trying to complete a full set. And although we found many sets of golf clubs at garage sales, he has yet to complete a full set. Um, I'm talking like all the irons, the, I don't know much about golfing, but there's like three woods, five woods, things like that. There's a putter, um, there's drivers, you know, all that good stuff, pitching wedge, sand wedge, all that good stuff. And he, has been missing like a couple of clubs and he got really close to completing a set and then we found this one. So let me show you guys what it looks like. It's just a like a pretty good set of clubs. Of course they're older and they're used, but they're still in pretty good shape. Um, and then he found a putter, this one here, it's like a tailor-made Rasa. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but he found that. Um, and it's just a full complete set. It has pitching wedge, chipping wedge, sandwich, all that stuff that he was needing. So he found that. He's super proud of it. I was proud for him. Plus it comes with a bag that's in really good shape and he didn't have like the greatest bag um, before. So he's excited about that. Also at another garage sale, um, there's so many cause it's like a big city that we kind of just looked through the pictures that people had posted online. And if we saw anything we might be interested in, we wrote that garage sale down and went to those. So we didn't go to like hundreds of, of them. But we saw these office DVDs and really I only saw the first one. Um, but I saw that she had a stack on her table and I was like, we should go if they have those, maybe we can get them. Maybe they'll be cheap. Who knows? We love the office. It's probably top two of our favorite shows ever. And so we had to get them. Um, they were five bucks for all seasons of the office and we just couldn't pass them up. $5? Like, that's crazy because at Walmart, they're like, I think it's like 60 bucks for the full um, thing of them. So I think we found us a good deal and we couldn't pass them up. And lastly, um, the last couple of things we grabbed from the garage sales were some cups. Justin is really obsessed with like any kind of jars, cups, um, glasses, anything that just you know, strikes him as interesting. So I'll show you some that we have that he's gotten previously, and then I'll show you the ones that we just recently got. So most of them you'll see have a common factor. They are like beer or liquor related, um, but he doesn't, it's funny cause he doesn't really drink. Hardly ever will he drink. Um, and if he does, he'll have like one or two beers here and there and that's it. 
Um, so it's weird that he likes this kind of stuff, but he does for whatever reason. So at one garage sale, um, not just this weekend when we went, but just previously at a garage sale, he found these. I think there's like 12 of them um, that we have, and I, I have to agree. They are pretty interesting. Don't know when or if we would ever use them, but he just likes to have them. So he's gotten those before. He got this one. I think it came with four of these one time. Wild Turkey Rare Breed. He just really likes the look of the cups he finds and stuff like that. So he picked up two different kinds of cups this weekend at garage sales. These ones um, that say Omara's Irish Country Cream. So those are really cute, really cool. My elbow just popped. And then the other ones that we picked up, we saw these at the same time and I even thought they were really cool. Just the, the look they have to them is really interesting. So these are cores. I think they're called Steins. The style of cup, I don't really know. I would just call this a mug, but they have a specific name. Anyways, I just thought they were really cool. The design on them, like it's like 3D-ish. I don't know if you guys can tell, um, but it's just like a skier and it says Rocky Mountain Legend. So I don't know, we thought these were cool. They were five bucks for both. Um, and then these ones were 50 cents each. He just picks up random things when he thinks they're interesting and those are what we got this past weekend. But with all of that being said, if you watched the last video, I talked about how I wanted to redo my cabinets. Um, I really wanna get like some plastic organizers of you guys. Do you see like the people on TikTok and I'm sure they're on YouTube too. They get like those plastic organizing trays and it just makes everything look so much better. I wanna get some of those. If you guys have any recommendations on where you get yours, if you've gotten them, um, let me know, cause I really wanna get some. I wanna get some for like our fridge and our cabinets, like our spices and things like that. So let me know for sure. I wanna start with my spice cabinet and I'm gonna show you guys some before and afters. So don't judge me. Um, we cook at home a lot, guys, a lot, except for the weekends but um and we still do cook on some weekends but the weekends are when we eat out if we're going to eat out but anyway so I cook a lot and so it's it's hard to keep this organized when you're constantly taking things out and putting them back in so don't judge me but why am I starting to take things out I'm excited to get this going um again I do want to get the plastic container thing so I can organize better but I'm just going to take everything down try to reorganize a little bit and we'll go from there but this is my spice cabinet okay um these are obviously all spices these are some that we don't use as often and then i have like some baking soda um and a few different random things up here some vanilla extract and then i have like these um gallon size containers and things like not containers bags and stuff like that up there so it's a it's not this is probably like my least random cabinet um some of this stuff actually makes sense to me like the baggies i keep right here because I package Justin's lunch and stuff up in baggies sometimes depending on what it is. So it's just easy to have it right here by the stove where I cooked and stuff. So I know a lot of people I know keep their baggies in like drawers. So maybe I'll switch it up and put it in one of these drawers down here. I don't know, we'll see. But let's get started and see if we can accomplish anything. Okay, so I took everything off of the first two cabinet spaces, counter, not counter, cabinet, shelf spaces, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Let me show you. This was all on the two shelves, mostly spices again, but a few random baking things over here um, that I'm going to put with the actual baking stuff. And then like some breadcrumbs, which will probably go in the pantry instead of in here. Um, and yeah, so let's try and put it all back make it look a little bit better. So I'm gonna do this because I had my camera on and everything. I just forgot to hit record, but I got the first row done. And again, the thing about having your spices like this is you can't see what's behind. Even if like, I know this is tall and I should put it in the back, but this is the salt that I use like every single day, the sea salt. So I like to have it up front, but I feel like with those pull out deals, you can just pull it out, shove it back in whenever you find what you need and it still looks organized. So I really, really want to get those, but eventually I will. Um, so that is all my spices. I tried to put what we use more often up front, like garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, um, cayenne pepper, some Creole seasonings, um, and then the stuff that we don't use as often is towards the back. So that way I can hopefully keep it decently organized for now. Um, 
And then the only things that I have left that I need to find a place for are all of my like ranch packets, taco seasoning, gravy mixes, um, and stuff like that. So I think I'm just gonna throw those on the top shelf for now. Okay, I'm sweating, it's hot, but it's done guys. Look how much better that looks. On here, I just put all of our gravies and like packaged seasonings. I just felt like they didn't fit as well down here. And then two different sized baggies and then up here, I took everything down except for tea, which we don't really make tea that often. We usually just buy it um, because Justin's obsessed with Milo's <laughs> sweet tea. The only other things that I need to find a place for are all baking stuff like brown sugar, bacon soda, um, imitation vanilla, uh, ground cinnamon, which I debated whether or not to keep in the spice cabinet. Um, some cream of tartare. I use this to make snickerdoodle cookies when I do some little baking cups and just different things like that that I need to put. I need to figure out where I'm going to put my baking stuff and then I can put all that away because I'm still not, this is the first thing I've organized. Um, so yeah, I'm still not sure where the baking stuff's going to go, but we'll figure that out. Justin is home. Um, he is in there watching videos. He's having a nosebleed. So we're waiting to go to the grocery store until his nose stops bleeding. I, I, I don't know when the weather changes and stuff, he always gets nosebleeds. It's weird, but, um, they're not anything like really bad or crazy. So, um, yeah, he's all right. But anyways, he is taking care of that. And I just made us, well, we, Justin helped me a little bit, not too much, <laughs> but it's new to both of us because we decided that we're gonna try to do a calorie deficit um, to lose some weight and get in better shape. Cause y'all know <laughs> we're not too, we're not too skinny over here. <laughs> so we need all the help we can get. Um, every time me and Justin eat healthy or go on our little diets or whatever, we never count calories. We just, I don't know, it just seemed like such a task to have to do. But um, honestly, after watching some videos and like seeing what other people eat on calorie deficit, def I can't even say the dang word, deficit and stuff like that, I was like, you know what? Maybe it's not as hard as it looks. So um, we came up with some meals and stuff and um, we're gonna try and do it. And mind you, if you don't know, you can eat whatever you want, even during a calorie deficit, you just have to eat a certain amount of cal calories. You have to stay below a certain amount of calories. So a lot of people are, are like, still eat, you know, their Snickers bar or some ice cream or whatever they want, as long as you eat below a certain amount of calories. I just used a website where you like put in your weight, your height, and all that stuff and it tells you how many calories you should eat to be in a calorie deficit like to start with obviously over time you will have to lower it a little bit um but yeah so anyways for me i can eat anywhere from 1900 to 2300 calories a day depending on how much exercise i do that day or you know whatever and then justin can eat 2200 to 2500 again the more calories means that you exercise more that day, you know? So anyways, um, I have a list here of stuff. Well, it's a lot later. It's like 10.30 at night. I forgot to film anything else. We did go to the store. I did film a small clip of that. And um, we measured out our calories and everything for our dinner tonight. It worked. We got full, it was good. Um, so wish us luck with this calorie counting stuff. Um, and if you guys have any questions or any, like, if you want to leave some advice or anything down below, we can do that. You know, we can chat about it. So definitely do that if you want to. Um, I thought I saw something on the wall. That was really weird. I think my vision is weird because I'm sleepy. But anyways, I cut Justin's hair. I'll have to have him show you. He just went and took some trash out. Hello. I thought you were just talking to somebody. <laughs> You want to show them your hair? I, d I left the top long and then just cut the sides like I usually do. Um, pretty low because he likes it cut short. So that it has time to grow out and he don't have to get a ha haircut like super often. Um, and of course it's not styled right now, so. He's so wild. He's cute. He's focusing on me instead of him, but you get the idea. Um, he was feeling kind of scraggly. Is that the word? I don't know, because his hair was getting too long. 
we're gonna get some sleep because we're super pooped and I will continue this vlog on tomorrow. It is the next day. Um, this morning, as you saw, I didn't film myself because I had yet to get ready, but I had a 220 calorie breakfast. I had 50 calories worth of egg whites. Um, we just got like the little carton thing that you pour. Um, and then I had, let's see, um, 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 two pieces of thin sandwich style bread, um, which was 60 calories per slice. So 120 calories, um, from that. So let's see what we're at. 50 calories from the eggs, 120 for the bread, and then 10, um, calories for the sugar-free jelly, which was strawberry jelly. Um, and then I had a jerky, a turkey jerky stick, which was 40 calories. So yeah. 220 calories was my breakfast this morning. And for lunch, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but we have some chicken fajitas on some low carb, low calorie tortillas. These are 70 calories each. This is the same thing we had last night for dinner. We already calculated the calories for the salsa, the sour cream, the cheese, the chicken and the tortillas, and it was 450 calories 220 plus 450 so i'm currently at 670 calories um and i'm eating 1900 calories a day so i still have what is that 1230 calories is that correct something like that um left and i have snack and dinner to eat and then i'll probably have some dessert or something for dinner so i should get close to my calorie count we will see. Again, this is our first day of like full day of counting calories. So we're still learning. It's actually kind of a fun process because I don't know. I just, it's weird to know how many calories you usually eat. Um, like, cause normally if you don't care, you're just eating and you literally have no idea, but this way you like keep track and you learn. And it's just, it's kind of crazy to see like what all has what, you know, amounts of calories. But anyways, with that, I'm going to try this, um, zero sugar coke um and it's zero calories as well it's i think it's called focus there we go i think it's called coke zero but justin got these because he thought they were the same as diet coke and he said it tastes different and he doesn't like the taste so i'm gonna try and taste it and hopefully i like it so we don't waste them i don't generally d drink cokes or anything like that anyways i might have like a glass of sweet tea a few times a week, but other than that, I'm actually really good about drinking just water. I probably don't drink enough of it, which is something I also need to work on. You guys, if you've been watching for a while, you know I struggle with that, but I'm gonna try to drink more water. But um, I, the only reason I'm drinking these is because Justin didn't like them and I want to not waste them, you know? So I'm gonna give it a try. Um, Coke is my favorite soda of choice. If I'm gonna have, you know, something, I will have a Coke very, very rarely. I don't let myself have them very often because they're addicting. So, um, yeah. Anyways, let's try this. It doesn't taste that different than the Diet Coke to me. That's strange. I don't know. I don't think it tastes bad. So I guess I'll be drinking those and we'll have to get Justin his regular diet Coke. It has been a bit and I'm still slowly sipping on this Coke Zero. I don't know, when I first tried it, it didn't taste that bad, but the more I drink of it, I'm probably like just over half or right at half. I'm not liking it as much as the regular diet Coke either. I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, it's okay. It's not terrible. I'll drink them probably very slowly, like one every few days or something, but I'll drink them because I'm not gonna waste them. But yeah, they're not the greatest, so. It is now about 2.40. I just got done washing the dishes and organizing our like silverware drawer. I'm gonna have me a little snack. We got a couple different things to choose from. We saw these pop corners. Um, they're kind of like, um, chips, but they're made from, this is a popped corn snack. I'm not really sure. 
Exactly. But anyways, you can have 17 of them for 120 calories. So this is spicy queso. And then as another snack option, we got the Smart Food Flamin' Hot Cheeto White Cheddar or Flamin' Hot Cheeto. Flamin' Hot White Cheddar popcorn. These are 150 calories um, and you can have two and a half cups of this. That's a pretty big amount. So I don't know. I'm interested in trying both because I've never tried either one. So I'm going to decide which one I want to try. Okay. It is now dinner time. As you can tell, I haven't been up too much because I haven't filmed much and we just got our dinner made. Well, the rotisserie chicken was already made, you know, but we've got rotisserie chicken, potatoes and carrots. Um, we measured everything out again and we're at, with the barbecue sauce, we're at, what'd I say? 495? Yeah. 495 calories. So we still have, I think I still have over 500 calories left and Justin still has, would you say almost 800 left? Mm -hmm. So... We're eating way under calories, but we're, I mean, we're eating a lot of food. You guys have seen the food. It's a lot of amount, a lot, a lot of amount, a good amount of food. So I don't know. It's weird. We're happy to figure it out, but we're staying full. Like, you know, I don't think that we're under eating or anything. Like I said, you've seen the food. We're, we're eating good amounts of food. So don't put the club down now. Guys, doesn't Justin look so handsome with his haircut? Shut up. Um, anyways, what was I going to tell them? Oh, he's over here hitting. Pretend hitting. Swinging. His clubs again. We There was at the garage sales that we went to. Is it going to focus? There we go. At the garage sales that we went to, they had a net that you could hit outside with. And then they had a putting green. And it was like $25 for both. And I told him he should get them and he didn't. Which, to be fair, one of them was it the putting green or the other. It was like kind of uh, ripped up, so I don't know if it would have been in too good of shape, but he needs one. We go outside sometimes and like he has this plastic ball that we'll hit back and forth when we're really bored and don't have anything to do, and it's actually kind of fun and it passes time. We'll record it one of these days for you guys, but uh, I'm going to help Justin with his shirt stuff, and then he's going to help me with a blanket hopefully because I need to get that lady's other blanket done. I've had the pink one done for a while, but you guys know stuff happened and um, we just kind of been not motivated to do things. All right, guys. So I look a little crazy, but I'm pretty sure y'all are used to that. Um, it is almost 11 o'clock at night. We finished, we did go ahead and get the blanket cut and pinned so that I can work on that tomorrow. So tomorrow will be a pretty busy day for me. I'll have, well, I'm going to be at home, so I'm very lucky, but I just meant like, I have to edit this video for you guys, which will take me forever because I chatted y'all's ears off for probably 20, 30 minutes. So I'll have to edit that down a little bit, uh, which will take me a couple hours probably. And then I have to sew the blanket, which those blankets take, I would say at least three hours to sew inside and out, like completely done. Um, and that's if we don't run into any issues. So fingers crossed that we don't. Um, but yeah, so I'll be working on stuff probably for a good five to six hours tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow will not be a filming day, which is fine because I'm going to get this video up for you guys. And then um, maybe Justin's on call. <laughs> the air just kicked on. It was a little rattly. Um, anyways, Justin's on call this weekend. So maybe we can film a fun video for you guys to give us something to do. We do have one video planned that we need to film. So maybe we'll do that. But yeah, anyways, I've chatted your ear off enough, like I said. So I'm going to shut up. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you all enjoyed it and we will see you guys soon.